So do you have to wait for a specific time to take this pill? <laughs> yes. All right. Seven forty five. And are you like Are you serious? To, are At seven forty five you're gonna pop this pill? And it's my last one of four a day for ten days. <laughs> so fortieth of forty pills. <laughs> Wait, so, so I'm going to ruin everything I've so done. So, like, by if you drinking. drink while being on antibiotics, what happens? I think your stu- I think your stomach gets messed up, and it kind of takes away from the effect. I, I th- I'm pretty sure. You're going to get pregnant, is what you're saying? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode forty. Of a brew with you. I am one of your hosts, Blake Mickle, yes. accompanied by the beer slugger, the beer chugger, and the beer mugger, Danny Brahas. Definitely the chugger, uh, and essentially the mugger. Ah. And joining us for the second time, the Sultan of Smoothies, Kevin Bartlett. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. How feels are you? Good sir? to yeah. be back. Yeah, it feels good. Feels to great back. to be back. It's really funny. We were just talking about when we were setting this up. Um, two episodes ago we had Jeff on. And you remember Jeff? You yes. were last time here. You two were on from um, the one that sure. I was on. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we did this this square type setup um, with the four of us. And then with Jeff, we did the the diagonal setup. But with you, we we're like, let's go back to this three setup. This with feels this. Uh, you uh, you caught yourself though. You were going to say something different. Three way. Yep. We're having a three way right now. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> Me and Danny are eye to eye. Patreon exclusive yeah. video, people. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like what? the setup, though. I like I, this a lot better. Yeah, I'm I like the, I, this isn't the official three-way setup. Sure. <laughs> this is how three-ways are meant to be done. Yes. Um, well, okay. <laughs> I was um, walking. You guys timed this up pretty perfectly to come over today. And I was getting out of work. I've been working a lot recently. And I had a lesson after work. I'm, I teach also. And I'm drenched right now. And so I, You can't see it, everyone, because I face to the camera. But my sure. back is like I got a pool. Oh, I mean, pool, it is 90-something degrees out today. Is it yeah. really? Yeah, it's it was. Warm. Yeah. I it was 90s. Out. The uh, AC was oh, not yeah. operating on the train today on the L. Ooh, oh, my God. That's a big reason why it, I walk to work, because yeah. I don't want to be in a freaking moving metal sweat box in the city. I don't I want a hundred other people crammed in there with you, I was, and I was then in, it breaks. I was, I was in the stuck. moving metal sweat box. It was terrible. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. Walking, though, three miles? Yeah, that's round trip that's, six miles, yeah. But it's like, yeah, for no me though, it's, it's therapeutic. Like, that. it's 45 minutes of like just me listening yeah, to a podcast. True. You know, that's I'm just true. like, and I'm not sure. this with people. And to tell you the truth, if I commute, it's 20 minutes. So, what's an extra 25 minutes? I mean, yeah, it's not that crazy. And you're getting me. built in exercise. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And uh, I'm just not talking. When do you cut that off? Do you, you don't do that in the winter? No, God, no. Okay. No, in, in the Chicago yeah, winters, hell no. Yeah. I, I started doing it in April, I think, this year. And it was still, we had some rough days. In oh, April, yeah. But I, in those days, I'm like, Screw it! I'll just take the, yeah. the bus or something yeah. like that. But I'm, uh, yeah, I like the walking and not being around people, even though I'm in the city. Yeah, and after we talked about the one topic, remember I walked to work when I thought I was going to die from yes. this, this quarrel, and the guy had a gun in his. Hand. Oh yeah, I was listening to that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Well, See, you're Chicago. a great listener. Uh, great Chicago. listener. I, great I, listener. I am a great listener. You are. Oh, I love my patrons. Oh, oh, thanks, dude. All right. No problem. For any of you joining us for the very first time, A Brew With You is where Danny and I, and sometimes a special guest, will try a beer for the very first time while discussing random topics broken up Tuesday through Thursday on YouTube with the full episode being released on Friday. If you like what you hear, like what you see, like what you feel, go to patreon.com slash bigdealblake to get this entire episode a week early along with your extra rewards and exclusive content. It is content. worth it. It is worth yes, it. Yes, patron. Yes. So many exclusives absolutely so today danny which will be his last show for a while has brought be, the beer i will be taking a leave of absence i be in Detroit. choosing where to drink today and as danny just said we're just going to give you all a little preview where danny's going to be for a month we're <laughs> going to detroit everybody but detroit rock city we might throw a little RoboCop Detroit in there too. Sure. Just to oh, throw why it in would there. you which, not? Which is there another Detroit? Right. Other which, than RoboCop. which in the original <laughs> in the original RoboCop film, uh, part of "quote unquote" Detroit was actually filmed in Houston. Really? Oh, where really? I was born. Yeah. Yeah, I know they do that with like Toronto a lot. Um, they, they they make like Avengers. I think was shot in Toronto and Cleveland, and um, like it's cheaper than like yeah. actually shooting in New York. Cleveland. Cleveland rocks. Why would they oh. fight to save Cleveland? <laughs> <laughs> So on the count of three, let's say Detroit, which is Detroit Rock City. Sure. Or Detroit Rock City. Okay. That was a movie, right? That was. It was mm-hmm. a pretty hilarious movie. Was it really? I never yeah. saw that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, oh, it was Kiss, awesome. right? Kiss was the yeah. thing? Well, was it actually Kiss? Or was uh, it? A- I think so. Okay. I never saw yeah. that one. 
I'll don't just, know if it was Kiss and they were trying to like mask it and make a different name for him, but I think actually... I'll just say Detroit, because I've never seen that movie. Okay. All right, sure. Detroit. Detroit. So Detroit on three. One, two, three. Detroit! Detroit. Yeah. Detroit, what? My temporary Detroit. home. Oh, I got some Eminem neck here. Sure. I'm going to piss off Jeff and put the t- uh, the, the Tigers back here. Definitely. Oh, he's not going to like yeah. that. No, he's, he's not. He's not going to like that. Are you a Sox get, t- uh, I'm a Cubs fan. Cubs fan? Yeah. Cubs I can't remember. Yeah. Your, your sports are a little, like, a little bit... St- can we just can they? we just CGI a Detroit Tigers hat on me as well <laughs> for Jeff? I'm just gonna put Jeff Photoshop Jeff here in a Detroit uniform. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, it would actually um, also work. E3 just ended. Um, the giant video game and entertainment expo it happened about two or three weeks ago, and the guys who did um, oh I'm blanking out right now. It's this uh, realistic video game that came out for PS3 uh, fall. Uh, God, fix the facts, Danny. I'm sorry. Sure. They're coming out with a new game called Detroit. And it's like one of the, it's like a futuristic game where it's like you'll be these androids and then any decision you make will affect the story of the game. So the, the, the oh, preview was like okay. this, this other android had a human girl and it was threatened to like throw her off his building and you're the guy. And so you can either like talk your way out of it, shoot the guy. Try is and that the whole the game or do you actually, is there like action? There's or is it like that? Well, those Walking Dead games where you let, you choose, you just make the decisions, and then they just you know it. what? It still is too early to tell, but that's what they previewed. Okay. It's, it looks okay. it looks pretty as hell, and they've had success in their last games. Oh, and Beyond I, no, is it Beyond Good and Evil? No, that's a different game. Some kind of Beyond Two Souls. That's the name of the game. Some kind of choose your own adventure game. Kind of. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Actually, it was like their first game. I'm Which is cool as long as you can actually play that out. Because yes. a lot like the I don't know what Walking Game it was, but Walking the Dead Telltale game. series. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Which yeah, you, yeah. you don't get to do anything. You just make the decisions. And yeah. Then, God, those were, out. Oh, yeah, those were sweet. Like uh, Oregon Trail. Remember that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just shoot for meat. That's all you do. You, shoot, you just want to shoot the buffalo. That was sure. one of the best video games of all time. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. It was a fantastic game. <laughs> Hands down. Uh, let's drink. I'm thirsty. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so, uh, since it, it's kind of a celebratory thing, yeah, we got the first live show coming up. Yes, it's a celebratory be the, because Danny's leaving. Yeah. yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally, <laughs> it's a celebration because <laughs> we have the first live show coming up, and yes. yeah, you can fix your own facts from here on out. The live show um, will be live show will be July seventh, four p.m. at the Taste of Chicago. Please bring friends, bring everyone you know. Come to live seventh, July seventh at four p.m. Taste of Chicago by the Buckingham also, South of the Buckingham great. Fountain. The South of Buckingham Fountain. It's gonna be awesome, and that it's is my be. birthday also. No shit. Yeah. Oh, we'll celebrate your birthday. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you a I shout. Should, I think I should be there. If you're not gonna be there, I'll still give you a shout out. Okay. Buddy. All done right. and done. Yeah. Uh, but also because I'm celebrating starting the new gig, uh, I picked a beer appropriately called Celebrator from Einger uh, Brewery. Uh, Einger. I believe is uh, from Germany. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it sounded awesome. I do love Doppelbox. Uh, it's from across the pond. So it I love promises- this little uh, icon here. This like is a, a ram. Yeah. Oh, this little I've never you never see that I've never yeah, seen that. Yeah, that's cool. Never that is cool. It. It's very. It feels very Oriental in a way. Yeah, even though it's German. Oh wow. So yes. So what do you got from Dan? Germany? Because I'm looking at the box right now. Uh, but this should be very malty. Uh, malty is good. I like malty. I like malty. It's going to be probably. Um, I can see some carbonation in there. Yeah, bit. we've been rocking the carbonation beers recently. Not that, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, 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 no not no. at all. I've never actually tried this before. Uh, like I said, I, I am a big fan of the style. I'm a big fan of Doppelbox, so I figured do something different. It's called Celebrator. I'm ready to celebrate. I think you guys are too. New lifestyle, man. I Shall love we? to celebrate. Dean's going to come back with all these tattoos. Tons of tats. I'm just going to be rubble. covered in ink. He's you need to decide yeah. which gang you're going you're gonna to join. Oh, right. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's an important one. Yeah. Uh, cheers, Nostrovia. Cheers, guys. We did that already, Congrats. but I'm saying official now. Congrats. Sure. To both of you. Mm. Live show. Mm. That is different. I say that a lot. I notice that after I drink, I'm like, that is different, but that's the whole point. It's supposed to be a different beer. I like this. Dark, malty, and rich. I love the carbonation factor. It's like you feel like this is yeah. going to be a very, very coffee or very dark chocolatey beer, and it's not that no, at all. No, I mean, I get... I, well, I guess we... Can we talk about that now, or is that at the end? I don't know. I get like a little coffee, too, but I know I don't know if we're describing it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot if we only do that at the end or right now also. But it's definitely. Oh, we rated, but it's it, like, we rated it's, at the end, but we very, can talk about whatever we want very now. Very drinkable. Yeah. Very oh, yeah. Drinkable. You can say whatever you want. Uh, 6.7% rate it. alcohol by volume. Uh, oh, really? Well, yeah. I mean, so... It's it's got a little punch to it, but that's not bad. You could drink no. a couple of these and still be okay. That's great. Uh, but I like that's this. actually my favorite alcoholic rating is around six. Like six is just my favorite because it's it's yeah. You it's, don't want too too much. No, and obviously you don't want too little. Right. No one wants that. There is a good um, <laughs> at the Forbidden Root. We got to take you there if you're um, next time you're around, or even if Danny has to head out or something like that. We got to go to Forbidden Root 
in Chicago, and they um they have a, a ginger beer. It's like a beer. It's just beer, but it has like a gingery. Oh, uh, I was gonna to say, it. is it brewed by redheads? <laughs> 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 Potentially, but, we don't okay. we don't we don't know who's back there okay. yet. But okay. Yeah, I've seen the actual brew uh, the brew actual brewery because they have it in the back, but I didn't see any reds back there. Okay, okay. They well, could just have them hidden then. in compartments below the brewery. I don't get this. I mean, <laughs> like, uh, ginger, there is a ginger beer, right? There's like right. A, just a ginger beer, but then this is just beer with a, like a, a ginger infusion. And there's it. ginger ale. I love ginger ale. Yeah. Oh, is there, uh, like, seriously, what is wrong with ginger ale? I don't think there is. I don't think there's anything wrong with ginger ale. I don't. It mixes great with whiskey. Yeah. Well, call me the odd man out. I am not, I'm not a ginger ale. No, guy. not a fan. Wow. You know, I don't know what you're it a rare, is. You're a rare. I don't know what it is. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I, I love like it. Like a Jameson I, ginger, people. Really? Well, I can't it's a highball, right? Highball? What about it? It's called a highball, right? Or what's a, what's a ginger ale and um, whiskey? Uh, I thought it was highball. No, highball is no. a style of glass. Yeah. High style, high, 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 high rise. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm Adam or fixing it. I just keep on yeah, adding this to the I don't, I don't know if there's an official name for, for just whiskey and ginger ale. Uh, however, there are... S- Stupid names that don't need to exist that exist for things like cram- Sea Breeze, Sea Breeze, which is it sounds like, like horse, Bay sounds like yeah. horse names. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's a vodka, like a, which is like a, a vodka a boat. cranberry. <laughs> yes, I had yeah. I had a guy one time. We were just horribly busy, and he was asking the server for a kettle kangaroo. And she came up to me Kettled and she's, she's, she's like, do you know what that is? And I was like, I have no idea. And I was, I was helping the bartender. I was behind the bar. I was slinging drinks too. I was like, who, who is asking for this drink? She pointed him out. I walked over to the table. I was like, kettle kangaroo? He's like, yeah. I was like, I don't know what a kettle kangaroo is. What is a kettle kangaroo? And he's like, it's a kettle one citron and soda. And I go, next time that you're at any bar. I go, next time that you're at any bar. Especially if they're this busy, please just order a kettle one citron and soda because you just wasted a lot yeah. of my time. I'll be right back with yeah. your drink. <laughs> what did you see? I'm that gonna it go was to your that on the internet. Like, <laughs> right? Know, who knows? His, his, his whole his, heard that? His whole table. He probably got just, it like, from his drinks app that right. you scroll right. to. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I mean, if you guys have ever been to like any of those tasting events, I think that's the problem because at those tasting events, they'll do something super basic like that and put kettle one and citron and soda, but they'll have a little thing that says kettle kangaroo, and it's like nobody's yeah. ever gonna call it that ever. I do remind you of Captain Kangaroo. Guy. Remember Captain Kangaroo? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's different. That's English. Uh, roll, come on. Did, he okay. pass away? did he pass away? He, he did. did. Captain, Captain Captain's Kangaroo. dead. Captain Kangaroo was English. He wasn't Australian. Yeah. No, that's what I meant. I was trying to do an Australian accent. I did English, uh, but they are similar. Yeah. yeah kinda. Uh, kinda. Yeah. I can't do either yeah. of them. Dearly departed. Captain Kangaroo's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that sounded boss. That sounded Boston. Boston. Yeah. <laughs> it's Boston, <Yeah>. Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Connie when you need her? Because to do accents. Yes, to do yeah. accents. Uh, let's fix some facts and hear some airs, Danny. Let's do that. So, so I want to do like a. I need to. I'm, I'm, do you think we should have a little jingle or la- a logo? Oh yeah. When it comes up when we do fix the facts, when, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll work on that. Fixing the facts. Yeah, I think we should do that. Okay. Can it have I've been an, debating can, that for a while. Can it have an '80s beat to it? Oh sure. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to look at the uh, the uh, Passion Hi Fi, my my choice for all my theme music on all my podcasts. I have to look. See yes. He's got a cool like uh, little '80s. In beat. general, he does a lot of just awesome beats. It's like, amazing, awesome beats. I, um, he, he is the official sound yeah, of I Big love- Deal Blake. Yeah, that guy does good work. If, yeah. yeah, if you I actually just straight up listen to his channel on YouTube, he just has a lot of free tracks. Yeah, they're all awesome. SoundCloud too. Yeah. SoundCloud is a ton. But I uh, props is the the Passion Hi Fi man. Uh, you're, you are the official sound of. Big deal, Blake, and I'm going to continue for. I got like more shows planned, but when do we have the time? <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but that was time now. Yes. Well, then now that what I'm happy about is in terms of when we release the show, the show is broken down Tuesday through Thursday with the sure. whole episode on Friday. So my Mondays now have this open slot, and that's where a new show is going to come in. Little preview. Oh. Hi, five day content, people. What? Sure. I'm a busy man. Very busy. Yeah. All right. Let's move on with yeah. the facts and the errors. Let's fix them. Uh, Starting off with the age-old question about T-shirts. <laughs> that wasn't really an age-old question. Uh, like the colors, greatest invention ever? Uh, I like, think so. <laughs> light colors. <laughs> and I, I read this on a physics website. Light colors, in fact, do reflect light. It's, it has really nothing to do with, like Gandalf. with temperature. Uh, but light is a form of energy. Light does uh, generate heat. So wearing light colors in the summer, yes, you are reflecting more light off you, thus getting more heat away from you, whereas black uh, absorbs color. 
So that is going to absorb uh, the light from the sun and then eventually emit heat from the shirt. Okay, That's, so I mean, okay. it, it, there is. I bet you. So, but it, I can't imagine like it's a huge difference. But I bet you there is no. a couple degree difference. Yeah, it's probably it's probably nothing uh, terrible. But I mean, you're gonna feel a little bit different if you go out in a white t-shirt versus if you go out in a black. T-shirt. Yeah, but yeah. it look cooler in black. Sure, uh, wear black at night. Yeah, <laughs> like puffy. Uh, <laughs> pain brace. I don't know where that we came from. We were, <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm trying to think. Who uh, wears his sunglasses at night? We were we were drinking scurvy. We were drinking glasses. We were drinking scurvy IPA, uh, which had very many pirate terms on the description of the bottle. One which we did not know was main brace. Main brace, and we could have used Johnny on this one because I'm sure he would have known. It's one of the braces attached to the main yard of a sailing ship. Uh, say that main bridge is the say it again. I, I remember this was on the box of the the pirate sure. talk, but say it a little bit slower. Would it's you? one of the braces attached to the main yard of a sailing ship. What's a yard? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm getting, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just adding the facts onto right. it. Right. We'll just it's get just, we'll get Johnny on here, and we'll t- he'll talk some nautical for us. Sure. Uh, Lucas Black, who was the star of Tokyo Drift, does appear in Furious 7. He does have oh, a role. Oh, he does. He, has, he does. That's so his first appearance after Tokyo Drift? Yes. Okay. So oh, they brought yeah, him back. that's right. They brought that's him back right. for it. Two, I'm two movies behind on the Fast and Furious. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, in, I'm no still rush. in neutral no. right here. <laughs> <laughs> no Although I think 8 will probably be coming out. Yeah, probably I don't like even know, next but week. probably next week. Yeah. 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 Uh, Dick Tracy took place in the 1930s. It debuted uh, October 4th of 1931. 31? Uh, 31. Hell yeah, Dick. 40 is the New 20 is, in fact, a movie, but it has no major stars. What was uh, last not, one? 40 not, is the New 20. 40 is the New 20. It does not star Gerard Butler, nor is it a Jennifer Garner film. No, but Jennifer Garner didn't have a movie, though. It was like 30 going on 13 or something like that. or Something like that. It was basically the female version of the movie Big. Uh, <laughs> yes. But, but, there, are yeah. like, there are literally like 10 but of 40 those. 40 is the New 20 was a legitimate film. It just starred a bunch of no-names, and it came out in 2009. Your dream job. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's a, hopefully, it was a sci-fi original movie, Danny. <laughs> Your dream, we'll, we'll make that dream. We're going to make that happen someday. Quite possibly. I'm, gonna make, I'm actually going to put that oh, as a tier on Patreon. Speaking of, of terrible movies, uh, I had to bring this up because I found it really funny. You guys were talking about, on the preamble, you spoke yeah. uh, in detail about uh, the trailer for Watchmen. Uh, and with our special guest, Adam Pasolko. What, what? Yes. That, did you, do, oh, you didn't check out the Patreon exclusive? Not yet, not yeah, yet. It was, it's awesome. It's awesome. So it's, he's, it's, He was a great guest. Okay. The beginning is the end is the beginning is the slow version of the song. Uh, what I found funny is that well, you guys, the well, beginning is the end is the beginning. Is it's, the remix or the original it's song? the remix. It's the slow version. Okay, okay. Uh, the end is the beginning is the end is the original fast metal like version. Metal version, okay. Uh, what I found funny about it, and I, I, I double checked it real quick because I was like 95% sure, but you guys were talking about the album it came out on. Uh, which, I know what album was. Which album? Batman Forever. Or Batman Robin. Batman and Robin, yes. Batman Robin, but yeah. I, I found it funny that you guys didn't mention that. And I was just I like, didn't want to mention yeah. that. I, I, went, I went 40 episodes without mentioning Batman and Robin on this podcast. Because uh, <laughs> you were like, when it came out on their original album, and I was like, mm, it hey, wasn't their original album. Hey, Kevin, Kevin. What what ki- Kevin, what, what killed the dinosaurs? Yeah. The Ali Sage! <laughs> <laughs> God damn that. And both. And had, both. I mean, there were... There were 30 quotes oh, in there yeah. that my are opinion, just... My but opinion both, is the second best quoted Arnold movie. Oh, both, yeah. Second best. Both, both, both tracks first. are on that soundtrack. Both of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. know. Yeah, because it, it's like the the two... The Pumpkin song's like the first one and then the remake, the beginning and the end is the beginning is the last song. Yeah. Them. I, why don't I... That, al- that soundtrack fucking is awesome. You have two Pumpkin yeah. songs. You have Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> Look into my eyes and tell I think I've ever sat down and listened to that it's soundtrack. It's a great yeah. soundtrack. I'm that's, not joking. Uh, Billy Corgan, that's the first time that he was like, I, I didn't really think that I could write a song about Batman, but then after I wrote it, I was like, yeah, that's about Batman. <laughs> yeah. It was just so weird that that movie was what ninety seven, and Watchmen was like it was like ten years afterwards, and it's like let's take a song that was originally for a soundtrack and put it in this soundtrack. Right, it was weird, but uh, and also probably a song that nobody remembered until nope. it came out in that movie, and everybody was like, whoa, whoa. So what, what, I honestly say that's one of the best trailers. Well, I was yeah. so pumped that I didn't even pick that. Adam picked that for the, on the preamble, and I was so pumped he put that because that's yeah. As much as I'm not a fan of Zack Snyder, like that trailer, fucking that trailer rocks. is awesome. Um, to answer your question, mm-hmm. Batman and Robin is Arnold's second best quote movie. Number one by far is Commando. By far. <laughs> is that good? No. What is, was that? That's not get to the chopper. No, that's, that's Predator. 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 That's Predator. 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 Predator doesn't have the best Arnold quotes. He has some memorable so, ones, yes. but it's not that the amount of them is Commando by okay. far. Like he's holding the guy over the cliff and he says, "Hey, hey, you said you would let me go if I told you all the information." He goes. 
I said lied. You, you said and he just <laughs> drops him. You said you'd kill me last. Yeah, you'd kill me yeah. last. I lied. I lied. And then she, the, the woman, he goes back to the car with her, the, the, the woman's there, and she's like, what'd you do with him? He goes, I let him go. <laughs> 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 there, that movie is jam-packed with them. Oh, um, yeah. Commando's fantastic. And it's uh, an awesome, yeah, one of, it's one of the awesome very movie. One of the oh, very yeah. first ones in the movie, who's, it's a no-name guy. He plays a security guard when they're like piling onto Arnold. And he just looks at a chick and he's like, hey, baby, you want to see me go kick some ass? <laughs> <laughs> that guy immediately gets thrown through a window. Of course, yeah. And that's not even a, a quotable for Arnold. That's, yeah. a, you know, that, that's how great that movie is. Even right. the, 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 <laughs> the side guys. Even are the side their characters. Like I forgot the, about that. Even the cheesy villains have lines in that movie. It's and the so fact, good. The fact that the, uh, the one of the antagonists is in that phone booth and then Arnold just rips the phone yeah. booth out from the wall and picks it <laughs> <Yeah>. up <laughs> and just throws it. Gee, that, that, you, see, we're missing that. This is why Black Dynamite was one of the best comedies of all time. What was the other one? Like when they first attack his home and he's like, they're 30 meters away and we're upwind. And the guy's like, you expect me to smell them coming? I did. (laughs) (laughs) God damn. See, Danny's like cranking them out right now with the Commando quotes. Oh, Commando? It's one of my all-time favorite Arnold movies. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw saw Collateral Damage. And I never saw it, but I know the quote, the famous quote from I don't it. Think I saw that it's like one of his last action movies. Um, yeah, that was the one where he, oddly enough, he was like a fireman, but somehow he ended up taking on like a Colombian drug lord or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah I mean, that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like Firestorm with Howie Long. Remember that action <laughs> movie? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> Shortly after where Broken was, Arrow. Where he was a smoke jumper. Yeah. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Broken right. Arrow. Oh, yeah. John Travolta mm-hmm. at his finest. I remember like broke the, the fires, that Howie Long movie. I remember... Like as a kid, when that came out, it, that's when like things started clicking. Like, oh, this is so ridiculous <laughs> but entertaining. Like, this is so <laughs> dumb. And it was like this light bulb. That like, was uh, long Terry the, Hatcher too, right? I, mm, I think so. Maybe I don't know because she was like one of the Terry Hatcher. I think so because really? she was one of the like the hot leading ladies around that time. Who I liked Terry. Who Hatcher. was like B, B status because she was on Lois and Clark. That wasn't. She didn't do anything. Like provocative in that movie, did she? I don't. I might think be so. thinking of a different ones? Terry Hatcher she movie. She was really, she was really young, and I think she. This is uh, here we go. She was really young. I think she got naked in uh, uh, Tango re- and Cash. How come whenever you're uh, on, this turns was... into like a broadcast? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Arnold films, eight naked internet pictures. <laughs> Every, Kevin, you have this effect of like cigars, beer, this and effect <laughs> of celebrator. <laughs> No, I, think, I think Terry Hatcher was one of the uh, first celebrities to have her, her, a nudie pic on the internet. I think she was like, not like in terms of celebrity. When you used to have like the pixelated pictures down there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got, oh, uh. Sander, Sander Bullock <laughs> <laughs> got, got taken away. People were passing this picture around. I mean, it was Oh, real. yeah. Passing it like it's hors d'oeuvres. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was dial up internet days. So we had to wait for it to print. You're like, hurry up. Yeah. Hurry up. Yeah. 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 Remember that noise, guys? Oh, yeah. You kicked me off the modem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the um, internet killed the radio. Video star. And video killed the I radio love that star. song. That's yes. a great song. Didn't um, President of the United States of America do that song? Did they cover that? I video think so. Video killed the radio. I think they did. They covered that song. That was, was an a underrated new one, band. internet killed the video star. Really? Whoever, I don't know who did it. Yeah. Oh, that sounds awesome. I want to listen to that. Weird Al? The videos. No. It's no, not, it was like a, it's a... Okay, it's a legitimate yeah, song. It's a legitimate oh, that song. sounds awesome. Yeah. yeah. I would totally listen to that. I don't think that. the song is oh. awesome, to yes, be honest. Yeah. <laughs> that's like is that a Cubs t- update? That's a Bulls update. Oh. It's about Robin Lopez. Mm. Mm. I don't really care right now, because, you know, basketball season, we had the drafts over right now. So Derek Rose gone. Derek Rose gone. We're, fine. we're happy with it. We're happy with it. We're happy. They did keep Jimmy Butler, right? Yes, they did. Okay. You hear the quote that's going around? Yeah. What? Drop a rose, pick up a valentine. Uh, yes, yes, I have heard that. I have heard that. He should be good. He should be yeah, good. I, mean, I think Sonny, I like Valentine. Yeah. See, we went from Schwarzenegger to nudie picks and sports in a matter of a couple minutes. Sure. The broadcast yeah. continues. All right, gentlemen, let's move on to our first topic. Ooh. 